Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about what happens when you use the wrong filters, syntonics, light therapy filters, neurological light stimulating filters, what happens if you use the wrong ones? Before I do that, let's go into tell, telling you how you can connect with us. If you're local, call us at 618-288-1489. If you're not local, that's okay. Go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com where you can read success stories. We've got a bunch of really awesome new pages that highlight our patients' success stories. You can read a lot of information about what we do and you can take a quiz. But lastly and not least, you can also schedule a consultation. All right, so what happens if you're using the wrong filters for a period of time? Well, uh, this can happen for a number of reasons, but the primary thing that I see in patients who come to me from other clinics all around the whole world is that they are actually given the wrong filter based upon the alignment of their eyes. So let's give you the kind of breakdown of this. There are two different filters. I'll just share with you what they look like in terms of the color. Hopefully you can see this one is looking like a green color. And then let's look at this one. This is another green, but it's a little different because this one right here is more of a greenish blue color. So one might say they're both green. Why does it matter if you wear the other one when you should have worn the first one? Well, the problem is, is that both of those, while they look somewhat similar, do have some differences in the way that they work on the eyes. And specifically, the filter that works on the eyes in terms of the alignment of the eyes. One of those filters actually helps to relax the eyes in a case called esotropia. So instead of the eyes crossing in, the filter applied to having them wear that, look at a light, will help to relax the eyes and make the eyes more straight. The other filter is more specific to someone who has an outward eye turn, which is an exotropia. And what it does is it acts on the muscles around the eyes to pull the eyes inward. So two completely different things, two completely different courses of action. One is relaxing, one is pulling in. And so one might be able to kind of say like, well, if we're using the wrong filter, let's just say that we have an esotropia where the eyes crossing in and we need to relax the eyes. But the doctor accidentally puts them on a filter which causes them to cross their eyes more. Problematic because we'll see that that increase. The same thing goes for someone who has an exotropia and they need to pull their eyes inward, but if they're placed on the wrong filter and they're given a more relaxing type of filter, those muscles of the eyes are going to relax out even more. Now, there are the occasional weird occurrences in which you might utilize both filters on one patient. As an example, sometimes we have patients who do both. Some patients might have esotropia at one distance, like distance, and they might have exotropia at near or vice versa. And so sometimes there is something to be said for utilizing a filter for a very short amount of time to kind of jog the system back in place. But someone who's an esotrope should not be wearing an exotropia filter for over a year. However, this happens with a lot of regularity with patients that I see coming from other clinics. And someone who has an exotropia should not be wearing an esotropia filter for over a year, and yet this happens quite a lot. Generally speaking, I think that there's just a misunderstanding in terms of how the muscles are being affected by some of these filters, and that there's some generic general information that's out there, um, you know, kind of floating around on the interweb. And so sometimes I think that doctors don't necessarily have a strong training in the background of how to use the filters, and it's obviously not done maliciously in any way. It's just kind of more accidental or they're trying to kind of do things to help their patients, but they're not necessarily certain 100% what filter they should be using. However, for someone who really knows what they're doing, <laughs> we'd love it if you'd come to us. Give us a call at 618-288-1489. Uh, you can also go to our website if you don't happen to be local to us. That's okay. You can look at visionforlifeworks.com. You can read a bunch of success stories there. You can uh, take a quiz. But most importantly, it's probably time if you're in that boat of using the wrong filters for a while, just make the switch over, schedule a consultation. We'll see how we can help you. If you haven't done so already, hit the like button, subscribe. And if you feel like it's important, please pass this video on. Thank you.